Hello everyone, welcome back to Outtrius Plays Doom Eternal. There's probably going to be a cutscene, let's watch it and then I'll plough you with excuses. You have now destroyed 68% of Hell's occupying force. What, how? Without the priests, the demons will not consume Earth as the Karn Maker had planned. So we're on a mission to find Sam from the previous game. This is him. I can no longer locate him. Sam... something. Hayden. In June 2016, you'll recognize him from that. The architecture is similar to his own. This one. You haven't seen that. There's in the description. There's a link to the uh, playlist on the other channel. If you wanted to catch up. The only functional slipgate to Sentinel Prime is in the core of Mars. In the lost city of Hibeth. Of course there's a lost city in the core of Mars. For you Why wouldn't there be? There is no easy way to access the core of Mars. There are no known pathways that lead there. <coughs> <coughs> Didn't bring my water. That was the silly. BFG 10,000. Designed yes, by Dr. Samuel Hayden as part of the anti-demonic defense grid. I understand. Searching the coordinates to the BFG 10,000 now. You True id aficionados will know. Quake 2 had a BFG 10k. I, I can. Okay, so uh, give me a second. I will pause the recording here. Get my water because I'm very thirsty and come right back. A return. That took no time for you. Um, okay, excuse this time. The reason that you have just seen Samuel Hayden half a torso appear in in media res sort of thing and been shoved into this uh, beam that we cannot accidentally hurt ourselves on uh, is because the, well, you may have seen it, episode 14 and then indeed 15 and then 16 recorded with no sound whatsoever, not my microphone and not the game audio because Windows chose to do an update instead of letting me play. And the only reason Windows was allowed to do an update, which is what I was complaining about during those things when it wasn't recording, was that my mouse stopped working and I tried to restart my computer. I don't know why my mouse started stopped working in the first place, but here we are. Um, so, I, I've just continued to where I was. There will be a stream, I promise, at some point. Um, how many of these have we got? We have five. Let's open this one, see what it is. The You didn't miss much, it was basically... Uh, <laughs> you missed a bit, because <laughs> there was a lot... I had to shoot guns at a big tentacle monster um, and I died a lot and it was kind of, there was nothing you know basically all you missed was a really really difficult fight which made me extremely salty oh that's just a custom skin okay um, my classic marine uniform nice uh, it made me very very salty and I had to stop and it took me an extra 20 minutes on top of what it could have taken me uh, And I even went on to IRC, uh, sorry onto Discord, IRC, could have gone on to IRC uh, To ask people what to do um, and they said just keep trying <laughs> So I kept trying and we got there in the end I have beaten the fight which you will know as the Marauder fight if you care To find out about it, you can go and watch somebody else play it and see how damn difficult it was And no doubt that we will we'll be doing it on stream this stream, I keep mentioning, um, I, I know, at some point I will do it. This whole new, newly inside forever situation has really thrown my schedule for a, for a loop. So at some point I will get back into regularly streaming. But for now, I'm just sort of making the best of being in, in the house <laughs> as much as I am, um, which is great and all, except for, of course, I don't know when to do what. So we have eight of these things, <clears throat> which is interesting. I'm not using a frag grenade. But I am I basically nearly maxed out the ice bomb, so we might as well continue to do so. That looks really good, if you don't mind me saying so. That one's my favourite, you're right. I have a Steam achievement that you can't see called That One's My Favourite, because that one is my favourite. Faster Swept and Witch and Mod Brock. Uh, we can afford that. Regression items on the dossier, yeah, that's might be useful. Maybe... That could be interesting. Let's do this one. I'm getting into this now because, of course, I, I again, I don't want to stream, which means I want to be able to find those things when we go back through. Uh, and let's have a look at our arsenal. We've got six... Arsenal. <laughs> We've got six of these things. Um, let's look at this. 
destroy a reactor on sticky bombs. Right, so that's actually something that we really need to focus on. Um, I, so I discovered some of this in the episodes that are now lost to the uh, mist of time. Uh, we need to destroy 25. on turrets, turrets using sticky bombs, which I think we knew up front, but I have managed to make some progress on that. And um, The energy shield is what we're using, uh, but we do need to purchase all upgrades. We might as well do this. I thought I'd already picked this up, actually. You did miss a really, really good fight, which I was very happy with. You missed the introduction of the Cyber Mancubus as well, which is actually probably a big deal. Um, but, you know, we'll get there. Basically, Cyber Mancubus is a Mancubus with shields and you have to glory punch it. Uh, not glory punch, but blood punch, you know? Uh, so, there you go. <laughs> Quick summary, we'll be fine. Let's move on. How's this doing? We've got <laughs> one of those down, perfect. Um, I found a couple of those. Maybe one. Yeah, I found the one of those that was in the other place where we were. Um, tempted to do that, but no. We found the one of those uh, Sentinel batteries, Sentinel batteries, Sentinel keys, in the um, thing that you missed. But we haven't. I haven't tried it. Um, I did try a uh, encounter, a, a secret encounter, but I didn't need it. Uh, I didn't do it. I, I failed it, and I think I failed it by leaving the area. I think it's like a limited area that you can do it in, and if you go out of it, then you fail automatically. <laughs> Um, so, again, we'll leave that for achievement hunting. <clears throat> and, again, I, I promise that I will get around to that. <laughs> um, let's, get, let's go on with this mission. We want to try and unlock as many of our... Uh, the, the requirements for our upgraded weapons as we possibly can. We've got the one for the shotgun, which is to you know blow up the uh, Arachnatron turrets with a sticky bomb. Hello, there's humans here. There were humans in the other one as well. We did meet humans who were reviled, revered to... Reviled? Revered to meet us. Or well, we, we were revered. They were doing whatever it is you do when you're revering someone else. This is basically this. <laughs> this is how all humans are in it. I don't need the chair. Chill out. Need your key card. They're terrified of me. Despite my armor, or possibly as a result of my armor. So this is our way through. Don't you try and stop me, because this will not end well for you. Who are you? You can't be here. We did do a lot of just machoing around, which is amazing. In the, in the episodes that you've missed, which is a shame that you missed it, to be fair. There's a, there was some entertaining cutscenes. Is that it? I feel like I can't pick that up. Nice. The OTT compared to the 9,000. In case you didn't know, the BFG 10,000, which did exist in Quake 2, was not nearly as outrageously stupidly crazy. What's Barrel Blast? We should check out the uh, requirements for this level really, shouldn't we? Wow, everything is amazing. Why is my plasma rifle so good right now? It's a normal one, right? Yeah. Let's have a look at what we need to do. Uh, challenges. Big badaboon. Kill 40 demons with a very big gun. Guess what that is. Destroy three arm cannon weak points on Mancubi, which I'm doing all the time anyway. Find the Slayer key. If that's a challenge, I'm guessing it's challenging to do so. Why are we so good at this? What is happening? <clears throat> I, I was switching out my, um, my runes a little bit in the episodes that you haven't seen. Let's have a look at what we've got installed as a result. I've got the uh, dropping health on the shockwave punch, the uh, staggering I've kept in place, and then the death blow thing I've kept in place. And it did occur to me, I had an epiphany, which is, of course, <clears throat> when you you survive the saving throw, you survive one death blow, right? And it recharges when you do die. So if you have an, a one-up, you don't use the one-up when the saving throw happens. <laughs> you, you basically always have a one-up, because then when the one-up does trigger, you get your rune back. Um... So I've got these three on. I'm going to keep them because I'm using blood punches more often recently. 
Um, performing glory kills faster has not been as useful as having a glory kill. Um, well, that has not been very useful. The further away one is not as useful as having them in a stagger state for longer. <clears throat> and I will try and explain why. And I will double check that there's nothing for me to find around here as well. Essentially, I do believe that if you... Um, if you can't get to the enemy from where you are, <coughs> getting to them from a bit further away also seems kind of unlikely. So, as much as I like to use the glory kill ability to sort of teleport onto platforms and stuff from a distance, I don't necessarily know that it needs to be that, um, that awesome. Why am I so cool? <laughs> Another pinky? Nope, it's not a pinky. Chainsaw a pinky? Fun. I do appreciate that. What are you made of? What's on your insides? This game seems to be faster all of a sudden. I didn't do it. Why is everything staggering? I, I don't know why I am so out of all right now. Everything seems to be hurting everything a little bit more than it used to. Everything's staggering faster. Or like, more readily. Ow. Or just straight up dying when I don't need it to. <laughs> That's okay. Um, armor, please. I'm not going in there until I've explored, okay? Look, armor, please, and then there's armor. Trying to send me astray, huh? Nothing of importance, okay. It seems to be going quite well. <laughs> I don't know what I did wrong. Um, all right. What am I doing right? What have I done to deserve? Morning. Slayer threat level at maximum. I think I took an upgrade to this. Uh, in order to make the explosion better. Also, I have to do... Oh! I just remembered what I was doing. Was, um... Help. Oh, that was a mistake. I was uh, using the rune that meant that when I was in the air, I got a slowdown in time. That was really good. Because it meant that I could use this. Oh, that was no good. That was, that was really nice. <laughs> that was a Baron of Hell, and I just shot it in the face with a double barrel shotgun. That was cool. Um, I'm telling you about a thing. When you do the grappling hook with a super shotgun, it slows down time. Because I'm holding the right mouse button in order to do that. Uh, which is the thing that causes the slowdown in time. If you recall, I don't know if you were there. It was the teleporter itself which was... Oh, that was Doom 3. In Doom 3, the teleporters themselves were the reason that the hell mouse opened. Or at least they were the... It was the... Um, the, the, the dimension you went through when using a teleporter, which was also the Hellmouth. Um, I'm kind of tempted to put that room back on, as opposed to this one. This one. Um, because it was great. <laughs> Whenever I use the grappling hook on a super shotgun, I, like, I really don't care. Because <laughs> I'm not going to use it. <clears throat> Whenever I'm using the grappling hook on the super shotgun, it slows down time for me, so I can actually aim it. <laughs> and there is an achievement for doing that. In fact, I think the super shotgun requires you to... The meat hook will set enemies on fire. Kill 50 demons with the super shotgun while using the meat hook, right? So now if I'm using the meat hook, <clears throat> time is slowed down, which makes it much easier to actually aim and kill them in the first place. Calling a mobile phone, like, it's not, like, American? <laughs> Pardon? You might. Here's my actual shotgun here, because I'm expecting, first of all, that. Didn't necessarily expect that, but... Uh, Kind of expecting this to be a bit of an arena battle, so let's. Nice, nice, nice. 
Thank you for warning me every time the 10 case firing, by the way. Give me an opportunity to go upstairs and have a look. I didn't really mean to do that, but it works out well. Let's um, put explosion in you. We had some interesting glory kills as well. Um, especially on Kaka Demons, which we don't tend to get interesting glory kills on. How's my blood punch? Doing okay. Get up there. <laughs> nice. Woohoo! The uh, Cyber Mancubus, which is that one, has. Uh, it, it doesn't really appreciate me. Why are you dead? I'm trying to shoot its arms off, so it doesn't let you. Basically, <laughs> you can't. Oh, that's not how you do that. Kind of expected more interesting one. By the way, I believe we unlocked something whereby if you were to uh, get a chest punch on the Cyber Mancubus, or indeed on the real Mancubus, not entirely sure if it's both, I forget. Uh, it explodes and hurts enemies around it as well. Are we done? Can we move on? I'll pick up some ammunition. Always into that. Warning. Bit of armor, nice. And an extra life, so now we can prove our theory about, you know, dying. <laughs> and coming back to life and dying again. One, two. Stop it! I don't know why I insist on glory punching everything to death. <laughs> I mean, maybe it's obvious. This is awesome. And heck yourself. BC dubs. Shouldn't I have some points to spend on other upgrades by now? I mean, there's a lot of noise going on. We did, in we did encounter one of these jokers, actually. Why are you so difficult to hit? Uh, it was in the secret extra magical, difficult, uh, the, the secret encounter, you know, the, uh, the optional one, that I failed miserably. I believe these were called a pain elemental in the original Doom. That is not a launch thingy. Let's use this. <laughs> I don't even know how much you take to hurt. You do not seem... Oh, there we go. To be uh, dying very fast. Oi, 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 oi. It is a pain element. Fair enough. Points for trying. And even more points for being right. That was fun. Appreciate it when you do cool stuff. What is happening? <laughs> Let's um, meat hook this loser. Does that count? I don't think that counts. It's okay. <clears throat> oh dear. You're back, are you? Oh, I killed you before. Run away. <laughs> Get out of here. We have to beat this joke. Oh, what? Up into my, uh... Onto my saving throw. <laughs> Suspecting a saving throw. Die. Hello. <laughs> oh, you. I was chainsaw in your friend. Don't miss. Go. Move on. Okay. Move on. Oh, lame. Uh, I guess we just keep with the chain gun. Oh, he's done it. What a legend. When it took me three goes. Half an hour. <laughs> I think I'll have a drink, if you'll excuse me. Oh, my brain. All right, well done, everybody. Well done. Uh, there's probably going to be a cut there, so I'll play a little bit longer. Just give everybody what they wanted, which is a half hour of entertaining blood and guts. Um... HP would be great, <laughs> if you don't mind. 
So there's a thing over there. Uh, where are we? We're here. So that way is the way to the Sentinel battery. Which is what we want. Please grab the thing. <laughs> Dude. Easy peasy. So they seem to think that today's or well, this level's hello. Uh thingy battery. Thingy key, sentinel key. It's hard to find. So I'll have to keep an eye out for that. Nope, this one please. There we go. Why aren't you like this? <laughs> that was not fair. I thought you were one of them. One of the easy ones, huh? Automat, thank you. I'll just stand here in the middle of a fight and play with the automat. That's cool. Are you dead? You're not dead. You probably could have been chainsawed without me really losing out too much and probably gaining a lot, so uh, that was not correct. Up there, huh? Getting here then. Ah, uh, come on! That means the other ones have secrets in. If that's what I'm supposed to go in. Right? But the whole thing seems to be just... Oh, it's a hole upstairs. Here's me thinking I was being smart. Whereas in fact... Oh, there is a suit token over there. So... Not too bad. It's dark now. Today is Saturday, the... Um, day after our first of two bank holidays in a row. So I've been at home for a full day already. Check the automatic frequency. Frequency. Frequently to see what you have not uncovered. I mean, there's a lot to do. <laughs> um, I was told... That's not fair. I... I reject. Stop nah. it. One, two, and then this. What was I saying? <laughs> uh, I've had a day off already. This is my second. Well, it's not a day off, it's a weekend, but we're going to have another one on Monday, so we've taken it easy. Uh, I could have recorded this yesterday, but I didn't. I didn't. Uh, and, uh, you know, we've got a lot to catch up on. <laughs> I am well dressed for this. Uh, I'm bigger than you. Nice. Lots of cutscenes of people being macho and not being macho enough, despite my amazing pink wings. And we will probably do one more episode. I, I learned that I didn't have to worry about finishing a mission. I think that's what I was trying to say because I can just... Well, basically I get the uh, previous checkpoint, irrespective of what I was doing. Basically, we have this Death Star weapon and no one's ever thought of using it to just dig a hole. There you go. <laughs> they even thought of it enough to put a safety protocol preventing it from happening. Good grief. And now I've got what is essentially the power core from it? Without the focus beam or something? Why am I falling? I've fallen less distance and much more controlled and died as a result of it. By the way, you missed me getting extremely salty at the Marauder fight and extremely bad at platforming for some reason. BFG 9000 is capable of killing most of them. So this is hopefully what we expect to see. Nothing to see here? Okie dokie then. Uh, we might as well, I think we're about to find a natural break for the episode. <laughs> That's what it looked like in Quake 2, except... You know, this is way better than Quake 2. 
evacuate the Phobos base. Oh, we'll play a bit longer. I don't know how much I'm going to cut out. <laughs> half an hour is half an hour. I think. Who knows? Like, why am I... This is not a nice place to be. Okie dokie. You can use the facility escape We've got normal gravity. Look at the state that we made in that planet. And how is this... Wow, my my brain cannot cope with it. Weird vertigo going on there. Um... The, how is this weapon not sufficient for whatever we've been applying it to? <laughs> Why have I got the blinking rocket launcher out? Is that with the BFG, I suppose? Can I please have some ammunition? Thank you, Shen. You're still attacking me while I'm chainsawing his friend to death. No sense of Ooh, hello. <laughs> this one man is stopping the armies of hell, so they'll be quiet. I'm gonna go this way because I thought there was something to look at. And I think this is, oh there is. Let's get to the point where we can consider um not continuing any further because it seems like a good place to end the episode so thank you for watching hope that you've enjoyed it i hope that it worked it seems like i am recording both desktop and mic which is why i have continued to play without doing anything else um but until the next time i thank you for watching i apologize for the big gap in the the missed story in what was for me two and a half hours of recording no sound um, and for you several episodes that you could probably find somewhere else on the internet anyway uh until then which is next time thanks for watching this one and i will see you bye